Now, if there is one character that I definitely do not regret summoning on, it is Kazuha. Oh man, do I love this guy. He's probably one of my most played characters who is in almost all my teams and for good reason. He is one of the most fun to play and just overall a great character to have on your teams. So firstly, I think back to when he was released. He came in 1.6 after the Jean-Li rerun banner, which saw huge sales as well as the Eula banner, which was one of the most promising new five stars at the time. And so many people, including myself, were wondering if Kazuha would be worth it. But as the release came and I started to see his abilities and not to mention his absolutely beautiful births I knew I had to summon for him and since then he has been in almost all my teams. So Kazuha is one of the best Animo characters in the game doing what Animo characters do best and that is bringing good amounts of not only crowd control but good damage to the team. So Kazuha's elemental skill is definitely one of the funnest parts of his kit giving the ability to literally double jump which is really fun maybe it's just me missing platforming games but it does feel so good in battle especially when you dodge the enemy's attack and then plunge down on them dealing tons of damage now the other great thing about this ability that is also one of the big reasons i use him is the ability to group enemies together so a big thing in domains and and even high floors of the abyss is that you'll be facing many many enemies and often it is very inefficient to go to each enemy and attack them separately so having someone who can group the enemies together is very valuable now originally this role was pretty much filled by venti however some downsides to this was first and foremost it is venti's burst whereas for kazuo it is his skill meaning that you'll have it up more often but now the downside to kazuo's skill is obviously it has much lower radius or range than venti but even with that it still proves itself to be an exceptionally strong skill that i use all the time now one thing that isn't apparent at first but is another reason why having an anemo unit on your team is so useful is because of the artifact set the veridus and venera which will shred the elemental resistance of the enemy you're attacking which will increase the damage of your main DPS or whoever's dealing damage in your party by quite a bit. And now don't get me started on this burst. Oh man, do I think do I think this was definitely one of the big reasons I summoned for him and probably many others as well because wow this burst is beautiful. Definitely in the top 5 best looking bursts and a very decent one especially if you can get it infused with an element that works well against the enemy you're fighting. And the best thing about this is the energy it provides. Oh man does this burst give a lot. It's also really good that it stays on the field meaning you can switch to your other characters and deal damage while this begins to shred the enemy and it's a reason why he is a very capable member on national teams when you don't feel you need perhaps the heals of Bennett. For example. Also, as the national team is often focused on reactions and bursts and such, having someone who can group the enemies together is very, very good. But yeah, overall, Kazuo is just a great character to have. And so you may be wondering, should I summon for him the next time he comes around? And if you haven't realized the message of the video, then yes, absolutely. As not only for the reasons I've discussed, but also when it comes to that fourth slot in your party, it can be a somewhat challenge to fill as do you perhaps go for a character that can shield, which is great on high level content, or do you go for a character for the same element to get the ever important resonance buff, or do you get Kazuha, a character that can provide utility, a damage buff, and just overall is one of the most stylish guys in Genshin right now. But now when will he come back is another question that hopefully will be answered soon as although he was only released a little while ago it may be some time until he comes back again but when the day comes I'll definitely be trying to get a constellation level or two but again until that day comes I will be content with just using them at C0. But now, this video was a bit over the place, but the main message is please try out Kazuha. He's a great character who can fill in many roles in the party, as well as having a very fun playstyle that hopefully will not fall off as time passes. But so, next time he comes back, do pick him up. You won't be disappointed. But as always, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.